My name is Samna Aryal, a 14-year-old student currently studying in 9th grade in Rajeshri Gurukul and living in Kathmandu of Bagmati province. Today I stand by to notice all women in the space industry and merely how much they have contributed to astronomical fields. Whenever we think about space and astronauts, we often have the tendency to think of names like Neil Armstrong, Yuri Gagarin, and John Glenn. Even if we were to think of women, many people would only be able to name a few. Women in science have always been anonymous. The spotlight has always been on men. This can be seen even more so in astronomical physics. When the explorations of space were first initiated, women were not part of the plan. Women had to force themselves into space programs. In the year of 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first ever man to make their way up to space. In 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to land on the surface of our moon. So, where were women when men were with the stars? Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space in 1963. Sally Ride became the first American woman in space in 1983, blasting off on board the space shuttle Challenger for the STS-7 mission. They remain two out of many notable and capable women who have flown to space. So, what about the women behind the curtains? The women who weren't flying to space? What about the women who were making huge contributions to human space flight from Earth? In the late 1800s, a team of women worked as human computers to process astronomical data at the Harvard Observatory. The women among the team were Annie Jump Conan, Wilmina Fleming, Henrietta Swan Levet, and Antonia Mori. Although they were skilled astronomy graduates, they were paid less than that of an average worker. These women were not known individually, but collectively by the moniker Pickering's Harem. It is said that these women mapped the universe, but still couldn't get the respect that they deserved. Margaret Hamilton was the director of the Software Engineering Division of the MIT Instrumentation Laboratory, which, which developed onboard flight software for NASA's Apollo program. Apollo 11 was nearly aborted for a system failure. Hamilton and her team rightly managed to save this disaster. And you know who was on Apollo 11? Neil Armstrong. So it is very safe to say that without Hamilton and her team, Neil Armstrong may have never possibly set foot on our moon. His name may have never been this big. Many women in the space field have achieved just as much as men, or maybe even more. Katherine G. Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson, brilliant African-American women working at NASA, served as the brain behind one of the most prominent activities in history, which was the launch of astronaut John Glenn into orbit. Catherine Louise Bowman led the development of an algorithm for imaging black holes. And finally, Catherine Sylvian was the first woman to walk in space, somewhere where no woman had ever walked before and proved that women are capable of, per of performing extravehicular activities. Only a total of 566 people have ever traveled to space. 65 of them were women. So why are women lagging behind? Women just haven't been given the platform as easily as men have. It is not that we aren't capable, but it's just that no one is ready to accept our capabilities. But over the years, prospects have been starting to improve for women. In the, in the late 1960s, NASA started recruiting women for space programs. By the end of the 1960s, NASA had employed tens of thousands of women. In 2016, NASA announced its newest class of astronauts. Half of the class were women that were chosen from a total of 6,000 applicants. One of these women may even be the first to touch the surface of Mars. This only proves that women can fly just as high as men. Gender is the least of our pro problems. As Ellen Ochoa once said, what everyone in the astronaut corps shares in common is not gender or ethnic background, but motivation, perseverance, and desire. The desire to participate in a voyage of discovery. Thank you.